it's still Christmas, as you can tell. Yep. Um, we are approximately... How many days away? I don't know, two weeks. 25 minus 17. Two weeks. No, it's next Thursday. Oh. <laughs> it's one week okay. away from Christmas Eve. That's great. You, you're just going to slosh that tea. I no, can already I see you sloshing. It's like, goes right up to the edge of the cup. <laughs> Who said it's tea? Anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, so yes, we were just talking about tea to tea. We, um, Colin also judged me this morning when he's like, why do you always drink tea before we do our podcast? Oh, I was just wondering. You're just very OCD. You get into a routine. I do. You have to... Well, I drink tea because if we document and go back to the beginning of this podcast, there were days that I sounded like I perhaps ate a carton of cigarettes. Yeah, you did have a little because I was like a little voice thing. <gasps> raspy, and so I like to get it nice and hot and <coughs> honeyed up, so that when I'm talking, nice and lube and juice. Yeah, for so when the I'm audience, so when I'm talking to all of my listeners, they're like, "There she is." There she is. Yeah. No. Anyway, before you really interrupted mm. me, remember when we took the girls to that tea room? Yeah, with Jan, Janelle. Yes, and. I think we all left feeling like we were a little on drugs. It was the cutest thing. They brought out tea sandwiches, two things of tea sandwiches and cookies. And uh, I think the girls liked the cookies a little bit more, the sweets, rather than the sandwiches. But I really liked the sandwiches. Didn't we also feel like their tr their little tiered tray was better? Because they had like peanut butter and jellies. Yeah. And ours had like, you know, the cucumber and cream cheese ones, which right. were also bomb. But right. the PB&Js were... Yeah, I thought they were those good. Those were good. But yeah, my kids were like... But it was adorable because they there was a whole menu of teas, mm -hmm. and because I'd never done a tea thing, had you? Like um, in the Brown Palace, or you know anything? what? I've never done Last that. year I took the girls to see the Nutcracker at um, one of these little like wedding venues, mm -hmm. and they had tea and little like that? trays. Yeah, oh. well, I thought it was cute. So they had a full menu of teas, and then they brought out. Um, so I think I did three different teas. And Three different teas too many. It was, I mean, there was a lot of caffeine in these I teas. don't understand. Like, we were, I left there and my whole body was like, we, it's like hulking out. We, we were jacked up after that. My kids were like veins in their neck. And next thing you know, like, I barely started the car and they're both like, Ugh, dead. Well, because I, I was riling them up. I was singing and, you know, we're, we're having a good time. And then, hey, Carol, Carol. They got in the, they got What's in the. What's your song? Go ahead. Share it with them. They got in the car and uh, they, apparently they just. I think Tavia even sent a picture. Oh, I did. They were like out in the back. drooling on themselves. But anyway, the experience was adorable. Go ahead. Do you want to sing your song for the... Carol, Carol, look at it go with a fresh cup of joe. Getting down to work early. Following a dream to taxidermy. Uh, that says tax attorney. I read that wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carol! Has anybody seen that commercial? Because I've seen it about a thousand times on Hulu. Colin. And it's... It's ingrained in my brain. And that's what I was singing to the, to the girls at tea, and they All were getting on the train. cracked out on yeah. caffeine. They loved it. Olivia still will be like, or no, Savannah's like, Colin, sing that song. And we're like, what <laughs> song? And then she's like, about Carol. Yeah. <laughs> Does she know we're talking about her? Janelle? Yeah. No, she's talking about the cabin. The guy said no. Why did he say no? Well, because I think Spencer, so we're trying to get a cabin for New Year's Eve, because obviously there's nothing to do around here. I asked Janelle and Spencer, I said, why don't we just hang out at your house? And they're like, no, we want to get out of our house. Because they're doing like a Christmas thing next week. Oh. So they want to go somewhere. Um, so they're trying to find a place up in the mountains, which, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of late for that. But apparently they found a really nice place. And It was a McMansion. Spencer was trying to negotiate with the guy. And the guy said no, apparently. I mean, I don't think this, we have really a lot of power to negotiate. I don't right think now. this is a world of negotiations. If right. we haven't figured out, 2020 is just, this is what it is. I mean, I think what is he negotiating, the price? I, have, I would assume. I don't know. How many nights are you staying? Uh, just two. How much was it? Oh my god, I need to turn this off. Um, I think it was 1077 a night, but I'm sure he was trying to get it down to 1000 It... <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know, but I, that's what I would imagine him trying to do. Okay, this house had like 12 bedrooms. It was a fortress with like a sprawling... It looks nice. It was just north of Fraser, which I don't really know where that is. So Fraser's north of Winter Park, but it was Colin wants to take his new friend. 
I'm not allowed to call him a friend because you feel like it's some sort of weird moment from your childhood when your uncle no, doesn't no, want to admit that you're gay. Now my childhood, so Tavia always <laughs> refers to my. They're not. I guess you do have a valid point. They're, they're friends. Not my boyfriend. They're not your boyfriend. They're friends. But it just. It's like she goes, "What are you doing with your friend?" And it just. <laughs> it just triggers me for. Like, your uncle that's very conservative, and it's like, you bring your boyfriend to Christmas, and they're like, oh, is that your your friend? And you're like, no, his dick goes in my mouth, actually. <laughs> you know. Not really my friend. So that's why it triggers me. But I don't know what else you could call well, me. Well, I don't either. Like, the the b- boy that you talked to? Uh, b- b- boy? <laughs> yeah. He's your friend. We all know you're gay. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know. You well, if you guys don't know, now you know. Because what if they didn't know? What if they thought? <laughs> oh, There's no I judgment here. I don't think anybody thinks that I'm straight. There's no judgment on this podcast. That's correct. If there's judgment, you're, you're Bye. blocked. You're blocked. Yeah. And maybe he's the straight one and I'm not. Me? Yeah, what if that was the rules? <laughs> you're the lesbian? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you have a husband and two kids. I mean, that's not that, saying that's anything. That's not saying anything these days. But I'm not. I'm taking girls. <laughs> not interested. Kissing only. She'd be a horrible lesbian anyway. Awful. She'd just, <laughs> Awful. She'd just lay there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I asked Jacob if he wanted to go, and he said yes. But it's like you said his name. Yeah. I can say his name. When I'm not talking anything? crap about him yet. I don't, when do we ever say their names? Well, when I'm talking crap, I'm it rhymes with we- makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so I will see if we what place we get. They're gonna work. He on seems it. really sweet, Jacob. You don't know anything about him. Oh, to, before well, we call turn on the is, camera, call him his real name. <laughs> so he goes by Jake or Jacob. No, but Jake when I call him Jake from State Farm, that's what I can't <laughs> handle. So we're now calling him Jacob. Oh, it's too bad. Anyway, before we turn on the camera, uh, he just texted me and... Said ew. Well, I said ew. Oh, you said ew. But Tavia ran through all my text messages, so what did you find? I didn't get very far. It was just like a lot of cute little bantering. Yeah, we banter. Yeah, and there was no sexy pics. I like that. Or did I not spin the wheel far enough? Uh, those, I think, are more like a few weeks ago when we initially oh, so. started. Now we've seen each other naked in person, so it's like the cat's out of the bag. Cat's out of the bag. How's yeah. his body? But he did. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. He's very tall. I mean, he's, he is like just shy over 21. He's 23. <laughs> yeah. He's adorable, though. Um, Does he like your man beard? I think so. Does he like he likes your, everything about does me. Does he like your grays? He hasn't said anything about my grays. What, like, what would he say? Nice. What would he say, honestly? Call me an old man? I don't know. Wait, your eyebrows aren't gray? Yet. I found a white hair in Luke's beard. I think beard. I have white hair. Did I tell you I found a white hair in Luke's beard? And I was Did like... Did freak out? I was like, oh my God. I was like, do you want me to pull it? You want me to leave it? What do you want me to do with that thing? And I left it because I was like, oh my God. Like, Did what? he like it? Yeah, he, he was like, whatever. Like, I was like, okay. oh, yeah, he's like white hair in his beard. Yeah. Anyway, so Jake, Jake Jacob sold. From State Farm. See, that's just what I cannot handle. No, he sent me a picture last night because he was like, oh, my hair's so messed up. And he sent it to me. Um, see, it's through my phone. Grab it. Watch okay. you, what do we do? I'll reaction. give it a reaction to this. Reaction pick. You have to do it verbally. Oh. Why are we still talking to that? Why do Yande is my friend? Um. Hold on. Scary. No, it's not scary. I know. I just don't want to see any butts. How cute he is. It's so cute because he's just not... I feel like he's not the normal type you go for. What do you mean? I don't know. Like, I don't ever find some of the guys you date attractive and you're like, oh, they're amazing. And I'm like, mm, I don't see it. Yeah. And like him... And this one you think he's attractive. He's cute. He's, he's cute. like... Like, if he shaved his beard, though, he would be, like, a child. Baby, baby yeah. Like, he's just He's cute. got, like, the cutest... You can't see it in the picture, but his he's got dimples. the cutest rosy... No, he doesn't have dimples, but he has the cutest rosy, like, perfect, smooth skin, baby skin, and he's got rosy cheeks. He is... He's got the prettiest blue eyes. He does wear little glasses. He's very... No, I've never seen him in glasses. That's the first time. He's cute. He's very cute. Okay, well, we're not going to talk about... What happened? Was it scary? That's I don't know. me at the gym. Oh, okay. 
Nobody wants an unsolicited swipe. Yeah. Vic. Well, then you did it on purpose because you just wanted to see, didn't you? Secretly. <laughs> There was um, w there was something on the on the TV or something about like somebody looking into somebody's phone, and I was like, oh, if somebody grabbed on my phone like that, would, if Colin that would dies, be my one job is to recover this and, and drive as fast as possible and chuck it out the window <laughs> and hope a semi just hits there's it at the same time. There's a lot of incriminating <laughs> things on there for sure. That's my thing. I go and be like, I'm here to pay my respects and rifle through his 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 underwear drawer to find the missing I mean can you imagine if my mom got a hold of no, my cell phone? Oh poor mom. Oh she would be scarred for life. She'd be like that was my son. I feel like Is that she, a joke? I think I think though deep down. She knows I'm crazy. I feel like she does. I mean you went to Vegas with her and she didn't hear from you for two days. And you were in the same hotel as her. Yeah we were sharing a room and I went to Vegas and I uh met literally a died no. <laughs> in a room for 24 hours and his no. bubble didn't move when I tracked him. I, I was like, a, I met a male hooker, which I did not sleep with. Um, thank God. But yeah, we, uh, yeah, we ran around town and drank and I was gone for two days. <laughs> gone. His mom's just sitting at the bar <laughs> at the pool being like, I think my son's alive. Yeah, hopefully. I love that she just like puts it in God's hands at this point. She's like, okay, he's going to wake up soon and call me. And right. Then, 24 hours ago, she's like, maybe today. Yeah. <laughs> Any other yeah. mother would be like knocking on every door, being like, are you alive? Well, the thing is, like, that was probably the first experience that she's been with me. Like, can you imagine now, every time you go away, she's like, right, come yeah. Come Lord Jesus. Right, yeah. Poor thing. Especially Vegas. I mean, Vegas just does weird things to me. Well, you were fine when we went. I was, yeah. We'd probably be fine now because we couldn't do anything. We could just gamble. Yeah. Maybe we should go. Oh, speaking of my mother. So she's on this new trip, okay? So she's spiraling, she, I think, a little bit. She, yeah, she, I think she's just really, really bored. Yeah, aren't we all? Because she, so she, so she's retired and she drives but a she bus. she still works. She drives a bus. Right, she for does, the school. Which she loves because it's a split shift. She takes kids in the morning, then she has time to work out. Drink all go day. shopping. No, because you got to go back to work. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. And then you go back to work and take the kids home from school, and then she's done. But in the summer, she just gets a drink. She, yeah, she has three, and she gets a smoke pot, because you can't smoke pot. They drug test you, so she gets a smoke pot during the summer. Does she smoke? She loves smoking pot, and I don't get it, but... What? I don't get it. Oh my god, I had no idea. Yeah. So anyway, so she is, so because of uh, the school shutting down, she's obviously not driving there. They're making her paint, which I talked to her the other day on the phone, and she just sounded exhausted because she's painting. What is painting. she painting? I don't know, the school. And I'm like, you're a 65-year-old like woman. What are you doing? Are you getting on a ladder? She's What's like, I'm on? on scaffolding. Yeah. yeah. I'm hooked up to a harness. I'm hanging from the ceiling. Like, what's going on? So she was really tired. So she took uh, a week off. And during her week off, I think she got a little bored. Like, it's a catch-22, right? Yeah, right? She needs something not so physical. But her new thing is she wants to buy a condo in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm sorry. Is that weird or is that weird? Why should Maybe it's not weird. So she, she is grew, that where her people are? She grew up in Alaska. She did? For a couple years. My mom has a very colorful past. I feel like maybe this is why she doesn't worry about you. Because maybe you, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Oh, no. I know that she used to, she used to be in a biker gang. I told you this, right? And she do, used to do mescaline, which I don't even know what that is. What some is sort that? Of, some sort of hallucinogen or something. So God only knows what she was doing with all these bikers and all these drugs. Like, the apple, talk about the apple. Apple and the tree the is the same. So she's probably like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, I used to do it all the time. But anyway, um, so yeah, so she's going to buy a condo. She's really like, I died a few times too. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. So she she's going to buy this condo in Alaska. And I'm like, what? So apparently she, like, found a realtor up there and... These condos are like thirty, forty thousand dollars. Oh, and I'm should like, we all? I'm like, I just, I said, I told her, I said, why don't you get in a rental for the summer, next summer, check it out, see where you really want to be. It just freaks me out that she's get, she's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go there at the end of the year and go check out places. I'm like, this just seems odd. To it me. seems seems odd. I think maybe she's just trying to get with her nest egg. You know, I am learning about. Seniors, fifty and older. Okay, well, wanting, analyze this for me. Wanting What's, to relocate, so, which, by the way, Tavia will back up. Fifty Tavia's and er, fi I told my mom the class was fifty plus, and did she she's out? like, "I'm not a senior." I was like, "If 
fact, you're part of the baby boomers, forever young, had a mental breakdown about the word senior. Oh. I was like, anyways, yeah, I have to take this class. <clears throat> what is it called? Um, S-R-E-S, -E Senior Residential, I don't remember what the E stands for, <laughs> Specialist. Education Specialist, no. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Assistance, I don't know. Okay, no, so okay. analyze my mom from this class. I feel like, so what I've learned so far is a lot of times people, when they get into like their 60 plus, okay. are ready to maybe downsize or relocate to be either one closer to friends and family or with like-minded people, like who they enjoy spending their time with who believe or think the same ways they do. Like, so we're seeing a lot of people who are leaving our current state yeah. and heading to more Midwestern states. Right. Mm -hmm. Because of our past, or of our re most recent current election. Yeah. Where this is a very democratic state versus people want to be around conservative people with conservative mindsets right well my mom is very conservative and so is alaska conservative i don't even know yeah i mean I'm i think it was blue was it i think so i don't remember but that's where sarah sarah palin's from there uh, so that's why you think she's but she lives in um I probably shouldn't say <laughs> i was gonna say but she, i feel like the people some people around her are very conservative apparently we're breathing my watch has a mind of its own what's happening i don't know we called uber the other day did it call it on your watch? Or did I don't know if phone? it called on my watch or not, because you'd have to like go to the thing. But I don't even know if you can call an Uber on your watch. I don't think you can. I got charged five dollars and forty two cents for canceling my ride. Yeah. And mind you, I made Lisa go out there and talk to the sketchy Uber man, and he, she goes, "Where are you supposed to take me?" And he goes, "You're supposed to give me an address when you get in my car." That seems odd. I was like, "What for you to murder me? Yeah. No, thank you, Jeremy." Yeah. Not today, Karen. Not today, Karen. How do you guys feel about this curl? Not that you can see me, because most of you aren't watching. Just Not listening. most of you. Just some. Some. I like the curl. Thank you. I called Samantha while I was doing it. Let's not talk about Samantha this whole episode. Well, too late. You just mentioned her. Well, edit her out. She... <laughs> no. There's no editing. I just throw it right up. Oh, God. Throw it up. I just did a whole breathing session because my phone. I don't know what that means. I turned that well off. Well done. Oh, I don't want to breathe again. So I'm currently like super losing on my race with Janelle on fitnessness. I don't know what she's doing and how she's maxing out all the time, but it's so really we do annoying. Tavia, myself, Janelle, and um, that's just us three, right? I think so. We compete. You and I, I don't compete. Yeah, because you never request me. Well, this friendship works two ways. No, it doesn't. So anyway, so we compete on our watches and. I don't know. When Janelle's on a, on a fitness kick, she really kicks butt. Yeah, I mean, she's killing it right now, and I just try to walk up and down the stairs every day. But I should do more. <laughs> <laughs> you said that Luke is riding the bike like five days a week, isn't he? he? Yeah, well, last week he oh. did. Hmm. Hmm. He's trying to be sexy daddy for mommy. Ooh! <laughs> I forgot that they didn't see the shoulder roll, so I had to make a noise. Oh. You know, <clears throat> somebody asked about our, our little... Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that noise? I don't know. Was that a <laughs> ghost? Oh, Stop maybe. it. Stop it. I do have a ghost in my house. And see, if we were positioned... I think we talked about the ghost. If we, we were positioned differently, you would maybe get to see the running around. But you know what? You've heard of orbs, <laughs> right? Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> You've heard of orbs, right? Uh, no. Like, you take a picture and there's, like, those little oh, yeah. circles. Okay, Weirdest thing ever is I have a few videos recently that the girls have taken upstairs in my retreat for like birthday videos and there are like so floaties. Just to, just to be clear, <clears throat> retreat is her sitting room in her master bedroom. Yes. Okay. Small master bedroom with a small little retreat. <laughs> yeah. And so they're sitting there and there's like all these like things and I thought for a second maybe it was just like the, we were underneath the air conditioner, the furnace and it was like blowing. Dusty, yeah. But then I was like, it's not on. Oh. So, like, all of these, like, I'll have to find some of them because I'm like, is there more than one lovely floater up there? Well, when you got your, <clears throat> when you got your aura red or your whatever, they said that you have a following. Uh, yeah, I've got, like, multiple spirit guides. Right. But I don't think that's the lady that runs from Olivia's room to the bathroom. Why she, don't you think that? 
No, because Olivia described her as an older lady. Huh. When you said you saw her grandma? I think it's my great grandma. But wouldn't she be following you? No, because I followers? told her not to follow me. Uh, because when I, right after she died, I was in college and I was doing my hair at my mom's house. I was like blow drying it. <clears throat> and I kid you not, she walked past the bathroom door and I just lost it. And I stood in the hallway and I was like, I miss you so much, but you cannot do that. Again. Yeah, like that right. was so scary and she's never come back. And then at one of my readings, <clears throat> my lady see this is why we had the tea right because I get all like hot and bothered hold right. on okay. so then at one of my readings my body talk readings Christy told me that there's a lady that stands at the doorway but she never comes too close because she was told not to come close and I was like that was my great grandma I told her not to come like it right. freaks me out right yeah years ago so she doesn't come and so she even thinks that it's her like watching Olivia because she's not like bothering her except yeah. for now i'm starting to think she is bothering her because she doesn't sleep in her bed and she wakes up every night and i'm like what are you like in there throwing a soiree like why are you disturbing so her what does peace? she say when you say <clears throat> when you ask her why she doesn't want to sleep in her bed she just wants to be with mom and dad i right? feel like but she always like sometimes she's like i'm here to protect you and i'm like from what yeah what's in my room right and then um she'll just say like she'll have a bad dream or i don't know why she wakes up Sav's room's fine. Like, there's nobody bugging that sister. But I thought about saging, but then I was like, ugh. What if they're protectors? Right, exactly. So you're like, does the sage, I've never really saged, so does sage just get rid of our bad, or does it get rid of everybody? This is more up your alley than mine, so I, I don't know. <clears throat> I do have a ghost. And as much as anybody's like, oh my god, my husband is very not he's skeptical of yeah, things yeah and he has confirmed with he has, colin he has. that he has seen said he has seen said shadow i mean if luke's saying it it's and he freaked like he was sitting right there and he was watching tv and he goes oh my god did you see that and i was like oh yeah the dark shadow that oh yeah that, that thing <laughs> that don't worry about that it. runs from that room to that room as fast as possible and then back and he's like what was that? I was like, I think it's just the ghost I've been telling him about forever. And he does never, he never dismisses me. Like Luke is an amazing man because he's never oh, like, that was sweet. It's true though. Like he, he is. never is like, Oh my God, you're dumb. or right, That's not right, true. Or right. you're crazy. He just is always like, okay, sweetie. Like, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably like, I hope this isn't an onset of dementia. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably I hope like, this isn't a bigger issue. Yeah. He's probably like, what is it going to be like in our 70s when yeah. she's been like and talking to people in the corner? <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe that's when it's really going to blossom for you. I mean, yeah. And then Luke, I mean, Luke has always said, before this house, he's always said, just whatever you do, don't open the door. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, if you open the, door, yeah. the door, he's like, you're not going to be able to close the door. Right, yeah. And he's like, so, because he's never not believed me, he right. just doesn't know if he believes. Right, yeah. And so he's like, if you start... Like, it's one thing to see them. Yeah. But he's like, if you start communicating with them, he's like, I don't level. think you can right. close your communication door. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And so then he saw our our friend, and um, he just looks at me when he sees her every once in a while. Out of the corner of his eye, he'll just like, look at me, and I'm like, he's like, she's up there. I'm like, I know. How often does this happen? She's active sometimes. So it's more often than... Than not, yeah. Than but you know what's interesting is, like, my mom and dad... If we got my mom on the phone right now, mm -hmm. she would confirm that she also has a ghost in her house who, like, to this day, will open and close the cabinet doors at night. Yeah. And she will have to yell from upstairs, like, <laughs> she stop, yelled. just go, like, <laughs> sit down, like, you're done. Like, yeah. we're trying to sleep. Like, she just bangs shit around in that house. And what is, what is George saying? My dad just is like, what the fuck? The ghost is down there okay, again. This oh, sorry. Mouth is sorry. Getting out of control. I mean, it's so true. How much time do we have? We could phone a friend. Oh, you want to call your mom? Oh, oh no! We're out of time. Well, we could call and confirm this. Should we just call and confirm really quick? Next time, we're going to run out of phone. Oh, no, are we? No, it's at 25 minutes. Okay, Okay, hurry okay. Up. Hold on. I yelled at my grandma, so do I call work or do I call my dad? George is funnier. Right? George is hilarious. George is funny. He's going back to acupuncture and he's getting um, his Botox redone. <laughs> Hello. 
Hi, Dad. Hi. Hey, really quick, I'm with Colin, and we're filming. Um, Hi. We're filming a a podcast, but I was telling Colin about how you have a ghost in your house. Okay. Do you want to confirm or deny the statement? No. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't have a ghost, or yes, you do. No, I don't. I don't disagree that there is one. Yeah, so you uh, do have a ghost. So what happens? Yeah. What does she do? Well, let's see. When the kids were little. Oh, it goes back. Uh, oh, God, grade school. Brandon thought that it was Pam that walked in in the white nightgown. Oh, yeah, oh. I saw her, too. She was in a red nightgown for me. And oh. Brandon had mentioned it to Mom and said, No, I wasn't in your bedroom, and I don't own one. And he said, yeah, you were standing right there looking at me. Oh. Yes. Yes, and I had the same, the same thing happen to me, but she was in a red nightgown, and she walked in with our dog, and the next thing you know, like, it vanished, and she really walked in. It was wild. Doesn't she bang around the cabinets? Yeah, she walks, you can hear her walking around in the kitchen a lot. See? Oh, my gosh. Down by the you can hear her down by the front door a lot. Oh my uh, gosh. That's crazy. The, oh, he should go on floor, forever. The floor creek. He go on we can sit here and uh, watch TV. And all we have to do is just say, be quiet. See? They yell at her. <laughs> okay, Dad, we're going to run out of time. But we love you so much. You've now made an appearance on the podcast. She'll call you later. Okay. I love you. Uh, okay, bye-bye. Bye, bye George. You. Do you love how he, like, barely never says, I love you, goodbye? He always goes, oh. uh-huh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, no, bye-bye. And then he goes, love you. Told you. Ghosts. Ghosts. Well, anyway, on that note. You know what I think we should start? Like, what? oh, my God. Should we do this in the middle of the night in the dark and see if they show up? Sure. <gasps> we could do it. I would time. need to wear a night a diaper because I would, <laughs> I would be, I'd be so scared. Yeah. Well, this was a good one. Maybe yeah. we'll relive some of these stories with you. Look at my angles today. Yeah, you're just taking Sorry. up the whole frame. <laughs> it's fine. All right, you do our intro. Uh, yeah, listen to us every Tuesday. We upload at 6 o'clock in the morning. But he forgot this last Tuesday, so it's it's coming. Right, so our, our comeback is coming, but the, the first one will already be up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so listen to us every Tuesday. Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Um, we'll have it linked everywhere. And I don't know, I don't have my spiel down, but... That's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the cookie crumbles. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll check you on the next one. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. (laughs) Okay, bye.